Good morning. Welcome to Juggling January episode 8. Good morning. <laughs> if Poppy could speak, she'd call me a peasant right now. <laughs> Look at that disgust. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Juggling January episode 8. I'm very excited. I got my rainbow jumper on. I'm actually going to talk to you about these in a second before we go and do the workout. Basically, today, I thought that I would focus this whole video mainly on my workout. So I think I'm going to do a talk over. I haven't done a talk over in a long time, so I'm a little bit scared, but I really want to kind of do a proper detailed lower body workout. Kind of like my favourite exercises at the moment for my legs and we are doing a glute focus one today so Niall's actually going to come and do it with me. I'm going to bring you along as well but before I start and I did, I thought I would just do that but I feel like that's not a bit of me so I want to make it a little bit vloggy, not too long, a little bit of a chat, make it a little bit vloggy, a little bit of me, you know what I mean? So, I do want to talk to you about these jumpers now. If you missed it on my Insta, I don't think I've talked about it like properly on YouTube yet. These jumpers are a new coming soon from Rather Peachy. So, Rather Peachy is my brand that I created at the end of last year. So far we've released candles and phone cases which are still out and about, but I wanted to bring out a jumper. We've got lots of new products coming actually and I have a very exciting meeting next week for a new product coming out in March which I think you'll love but first off we have these little jumpers and these are actually releasing on the 24th of January which is two days from today of this video. Not right now for me but for you if you're watching on the day two days. So 24th of Jan. I will put the website in the description box, but they're coming. Now let me chat about them. So we've got two. Now this is one. So we've got a yellow one with a rainbow. So the rainbow matches the rather peachy phone case. And my nails actually, but the exact rainbow, it matches. So if you've got the phone case, you get a twin with yourself. But basically this is just our rainbow that we've created with rather peachy. So our designer actually made this and it's just stuck. I want everything to match, you know? <laughs> and then we also have this little grey one here. So this one's a little bit more of a neutral if you don't like yellows. This is sort of a mustardy yellow. Didn't really want a banana yellow because I thought of kind of netball. But then I thought the mustard yellow, bit chic, you know? <laughs> and then this is a ash grey. So this one has my little saying. Now this one has a massive place in my heart, I must say. So this one says blue beyond the clouds. Now if you don't know my little saying that I say, I like to say when there's blue in the sky, it means there's no blue in the brain. But even when it's grey outside, there's blue beyond the clouds. So basically, if you don't know what it means, it's kind of just a little bit of a way of saying there's always hope beyond the darkness, there's always a silver lining, there's always good beyond the bad. So um, it's just a little positive thing and we put it in rainbow writing which I'm so excited about. I really wanted some really nice embroidery so it's really nicely done. I just love it, look at that, that is literally me in an embellishment, in an embroidery. <laughs> Keep mixing those two words up. Yes. Anyway, they are cropped jumpers. They've got a lovely soft inside. They're actually going to be £23 each. We're selling them worldwide. I'm just so excited. You'll see this one in action today in the workout. And basically, I wanted to create them so that they could be worn kind of wherever. So I'm wearing it to the gym today, but I've worn it out with jeans. I wear it with my trackies, just cozing about. So it's kind of very versatile. It's not specifically gym wear at all, but but, you know, I like popping on a jumper over the top of my sports bra sometimes if it's a bit chilly and it is chilly at the moment in the UK But it looks just as nice with like some jeans or I don't know paper bag jeans It looks really nice with actually but skinny jeans. It looks really cute with as well I really like where the crop sits so we're gonna have sizes extra small to extra extra large This is a small so they're very true to size. I think I mean it, I could have a bigger one and make it even more oversized if I wanted But I've just always had a small I I am actually going to be receiving all of the sizes so I can show you guys like all the different ones v each other. I haven't got them yet, I really wanted to do it in this video but I don't have them so I think on Instagram I might do a little video just before release. I'll let you know though. But yes, I think that's about it. I'm so excited. I've been working on these for ages, you might have seen them popping about here and there in videos. I have been going through different samples but these are finally right. I absolutely love them. What we're thinking, look at that softness, look at that. Now that's soft, you can't see, there we go, look at that softness. 
love. <laughs> anyway, that's my jumpers. Just thought, wanted to let you know on here because I haven't actually spoke about it on YouTube, but very exciting. Let me know if you do have any questions. And I think we're going to go do a workout now, otherwise it's going to be a long blab. So today, as I said, I'm going to be focusing mainly on my glutes. Just because I wanted to do that, I just feel like it. We will obviously be hitting other parts too, but it's just going to be glute focus. So Niall's coming. He's going to film me. I'm going to talk over afterwards at some point before it goes up, obviously. And it's going to be a good day. Happy Friday. I feel a little bit run down. I've had another busy work week, so I'm very excited for the weekend again. TGIF. Even though it won't be right now for you. TGIT. <laughs> So to start our leg workout today, we are doing a little bit of a warm up here. So we're starting with some dynamic movements just to get the blood going, get the bod moving, get the heart rate up slightly, not too much, just a little bit, just to get nice and warm and get the muscles ready to keep moving. So here I'm doing a mixture of different things. We started with some lunges with some overhead arms and now we're doing a little bit of glute activation as well. So we are just doing a little bit of squat walk with a resistance band. I really like these because they just basically wake up my bum. That's what glute activation is essentially, as we probably all know. And then here I'm just getting my hip flexors moving. I do actually have quite tight hip flexors, I must say. So we're doing some leg swings. And again, we're just doing some more hip flexor movements. I struggle quite a lot with tight hip flexors, so that's a big focus for me. And then we're just doing some bodyweight squats, ready to go for a good old sesh. So, first movement of the day, we are doing some hip thrusts. Now, I think these are the key to a big booty. <laughs> get a ride with there. But yeah, anyway, jokes aside, these are the best, I personally think, for glutes. Now, this is a compound movement, so it's very tiring, it works lots of muscles, but it essentially is very good for the glutes. I have got a resistance band here as well, because I like to push my legs against it while doing so, just to get my abductors moving too, but it's not essential. And the key tips I'd say for hip thrust would be to squeeze at the top, of course, not too much to overextend and pushing through the heels is very important. The so next up we have a glute bridge which is very similar to a hip thrust and lots of people ask me what's the difference and as you can see we are just not using a bench. So with these I find that they target a different part of my glutes more. They actually hit the bottom under bum bit and they do actually target my hamstrings a lot more as well. Here I'm actually doing a, an abduction at the top with the resistance band as well but that's not essential. I would highly recommend very similar to a hip thrust, but you're on the floor, push through your heels, squeeze at the top, do an abduction if you fancy it, good one for the booty. <laughs> I love that word. And then you may end up looking like starfish, like me, because these are a little bit of a killer. Okay, next movement we have, which is another big favorite of the compound lifts, is a sumo deadlift. So when it comes to a sumo deadlift, I'd say the key things to think about, obviously as you can see, my feet are a lot wider than a usual deadlift, so they're actually about twice, twice as wide. And as you can see as well, my toes are pointed outwards quite dramatically. Make sure you squeeze at the top, good to go. These are actually really good on hamstrings as well. Love them. Okay, so our next move is actually a superset. So we're doing two exercises back to back with no rest. First exercise, as we can see, is a leaning side lunge. Now these are an absolute killer on the booty. Actually, it's one cheek at a time here. <laughs> so the key thing here is to push up with your heel. So you want to be putting most of the weight into the back of your heels, not your toes. As you can see, I'm actually doing a little dance with my toe there <laughs> to remind myself that it needs to be in the heel, not the toe. And again, that's something I haven't even pointed out yet. Think about the booty. We've talked about this before. That's the key thing with glute growth is the mind to muscle connection. Think about your glutes while you're doing each movement. And as you can see now, we're going into the second exercise of the superset, which is a sumo squat. So we have another wide stance similar to the deadlift and then we are going into pulses as you can see here. So moving on to a cable. We have a cable pull through. Now these are a key exercise I find to do near the end of my workout. I like to do these actually because they are very isolating. We're reaching through the legs as far as possible, bending at the hips 
and you want to keep your knees slightly bent throughout this movement and then as you can see I'm pulling myself back up make sure you are driving the weight make sure the weight isn't driving you and squeeze at the top it's an absolute killer good one And then moving on to our final movement of the day, we have a kickback. Now I'm sure you will have seen these before, these are a very common glute movement. I'm actually doing a slight, slight more of a pulse here than a usual kickback form. So I'm kind of stopping when my knee meets my other knee and going back out so I'm not doing a full contraction. Purely because it keeps the tension on the glute the whole way through until you get to your last rep. Make sure you squeeze at the top, push back your leg, squeeze in, that's the most important thing with kickbacks and you're good to go. Make sure you don't arch your back too, that's a very important point. But yes, I think that's everything for today. I hope you enjoyed my talk over, I haven't done one in so long. I hope it was helpful. Happy Tuesday, or whatever day it is for you. <laughs>